So last night we received probably the biggest update for CS2 so far. This one added a brand new map, added the Premiere mode, the MR12 format to competitive matchmaking, and overall just added a bunch of other things as well or changed things. So in today's video, let's go over all of those changes in detail. First things first, let's start with the map, which is Inferno as kind of expected. We also have some brand new map icons, by the way, for Inferno, Overpass, and Italy, which may hint to brand new collections for those maps, which would be pretty amazing to be honest. But let's talk a bit about Inferno. This has to be so far my favorite remake in CS2 and also has to be one of my favorite maps visually at least in Counter-Strike period. It is such a well-crafted map, really stunning, extremely beautiful and I feel like Valve has done a really fantastic job with it. From the leaked screenshots some of you may be expecting Inferno to be extremely dusty but it seems like Valve has toned it significantly down and the map isn't as dusty as it first appeared on those leaked screenshots. We can also see that certain areas have been even further adjusted by Valve as an example the T-spawn area. In the early screenshot it looked quite different but as you can see now Valve has obviously changed some stuff. I would also like to point out there's some issues with chickens going on in this limited test right now so it's honestly quite interesting. Valve play 6. But overall, I gotta say Inferno is just really beautiful. So Valve has, like I said, done here a really great job in my opinion. Very great looking map. Gameplay has also been pretty nice. There were some kind of weird glitches going on. Like one time the bomb just disappeared and it was basically out of bounds. I'm not entirely sure how this happened. Apparently the other team also had the same issue a couple rounds later. So not entirely sure how this happens, but I really hope Valve will have a fix for that. At least on the minimap, it appeared out of bounds. So as you can see right here in the screenshot. We will be talking about Inferno once again in the next couple of days. I will be making a detailed comparison between CSGO's Inferno and CS2's Inferno, so stay tuned for that one, and if you don't want to miss it, feel free to, you know, subscribe. Alright, so let's move on. We have the brand new Premiere Mode. As you can see, this is the brand new Premiere Mode, which has a CS rating and CS2 leaderboards. You have global leaderboards and also region-based leaderboards, which is pretty nice to see. This was one of the biggest additions with this update as well. And honestly, I gotta say the Premiere Mode has been very enjoyable. I really like how fast you kind of start around and in comparison to how it is in CSGO, I genuinely enjoy this brand new experience so far. Something quite important I actually forgot to mention is that Valve will be changing how competitive works as well. So instead of just having one rank, your rank will be based on the maps you play. So you can be global in Vertigo, but be silver in Mirage at the same time. So instead of having just one rank for every map, you will have a rank linked to the map. Valve has made some fixes to sounds, so in this case they fixed the case where grenade throw sounds would play twice, and they've also added music preview buttons to the music volume sliders, which is pretty welcome in my opinion, and they've also made some various adjustments to sound effects. We have some changes for workshop tools here, we will not be going over those in detail, and Valve has also made some various bug fixes and tweaks for all ship maps, so let's kind of talk about those really quickly. So I gotta be honest, I went through basically all of the different maps and the only difference I could spot was on Overpass, where apparently there's this brand new light here in heaven. As you can see, this is how it looked like previously and this is how it looks like now. Not entirely sure if I just had my shadow settings not high enough, but I think this is brand new. Other than that, I couldn't really spot any other changes to the map so far, so if you've noticed anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. Moving on to a CSGO change, uh, this is kind of different I guess, you can now see recent ranked matches in your matches menu, so basically right here you can see your recent matches, and these were in CS2, so this is kind of cool to see that you can now access these recent matches that you've played also in CSGO, this shows competitive wingman and of course the premiere mode matches, so now you can kind of make fun I guess of my statistics. Even though I gotta say I wasn't playing too bad today, this was probably one of the best rounds. And as you can see this is MR12 with overtime right here, so it's first to 30 rounds I guess in this case. It was pretty fun. Also very close one by the way. And last but not least, let's move on to the miscellaneous changes. So Valve has made some fixes here, fixed the bug with hostage rescue prediction, I'm not entirely sure honestly what this means, but they've enabled first person shadow for carried hostages, so now it no longer looks awkward when you carry a hostage. They've also fixed water effects showing in the wrong place when a bullet hit the water after penetration, so this is how it looked previously as you can see on Ancient. This was kind of weird to be honest, I spotted it and I didn't really think too much of it, but yeah, as you can imagine this was not supposed to happen and this is how it looks like now, so good job Valve. They've made various fixes for weapon finishes, couldn't really spot in specific which ones they fixed here, so if you know more about this feel free to leave a comment down below. Various CSGO settings will be imported when launching the CS2 limited test, which is pretty nice to be honest, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Some of my settings were just immediately implemented, which I definitely liked, so that was pretty cool. They've updated the um, visual effect here for invulnerability. Invulnerability? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. And this is how it looks like. I think this is a pretty nice addition. 
Desert Eagle, third person muzzle flash smoke now dissipates faster, so this is how it looks like now. I think this is a bit different in comparison to before. And they've also continued to iterate the smoke shape, so it is now basically back to how it was previously in my opinion. It looks at least quite similar to how it was before they changed it to the CSGO one basically. And these are all of the changes in general, we've kind of skipped over a few of them which I didn't really think were too important, so honestly this was a pretty huge update. There's also the game authentication codes here, um, which you can see on screen right now. So these are all of the change notes for today's update. Pretty huge update in my opinion, a very important one. They've also invited as far as I understood, basically a large portion of the CS community, which is pretty amazing in my opinion, so good job Valve. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to follow me on Twitch, I will be streaming there most likely later today, so if you want to join, we're going to be playing the premiere mode, and if you don't have access yet, we will also take a look at some skins, I guess, so if you want to join, feel free to do that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!